Kelsey, I am so glad to see you again. Have you ever seen one of these before? You might not recognize it, but maybe if I filled it with oranges or apples or potatoes, you might see what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is one of those mesh bags that you get at the grocery store, but what you might not know is that these things can do a lot of cool things for your paintings. So today we're gonna use one of these to do a really cool painting of a fish. So what you'll need. One of these mesh bags, you normally get uh, oranges, um, potatoes, onions, things like that come in here. You'll need some paper, paints in whatever color you like. And today I'm going to be using these uh, cotton rounds as stampers. Um, if you paint just with a normal paintbrush, then it can be a little bit more challenging to get the cool effect that we're going for. So you might want to use something that you can press down with. You can also just use your hand. There's a lot of different really cool options. You'll also want a marker to do the finishing details on your little fishy friend. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is take your mesh and spread it out really nicely. And right now you might want to tape it down. That's what I'm going to do just to make sure that it doesn't move around at all while you're doing your stamps. So now I got it all taped down and flat on my paper, so let's get stamping. body parts that we have that fish also have. Eyes and a mouth. Fish don't normally have noses or ears, but this is your chance to get creative. I will not judge you. So what's something that fish have that we don't have? I'll give you a hint. It helps them swim in the ocean. It's fins. So we're going to add our fins. This looks so cute! Look at him! I really do hope that you try this one out because it is so much fun and so easy. The only thing that there's left to do is to sign my name to my brand new work of art. There you go. All right, y'all have fun out there.